It's good to see you. Today, we are at the Piedmont Triad Farmer's Market, and uh, it's kind of early on a Friday. I thought it'd be a good time to come by. There's the constant noise of Interstate 40 up there. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> um, we're gonna walk around some of these booths and see what kind of neat stuff we can find. Now we're gonna start down here at this end. This is uh, stuff from Moon Creek Farm. They're in Yanceyville, North Carolina. And they have all kinds of plants and stuff. Now I tell you, the farmer's market is the best place to go to find stuff if you uh, want to start a little garden or you want to, oh, look at the little planters. Or if you want to um, do plant stuff in your own little planters, this is cute little boot. <laughs> That's cool. Look at this little guy. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Wow. I love it. It looks like something from a fairy garden or something. That's cool. I like it. Oh, look at this one. It has little, little bunnies. That is so cool. And then we have this thing here with the little, little things hanging on it. That is so pretty. I think, though, this is just the neatest thing right here. Oh, I like that. Look at, I wish I could grow stuff. I can't grow things. I don't know what it is about me. I just can't grow stuff. Oh, look at these little cacti. Oh, he's pokey. Look at him. <laughs> nice. And we, up here we have hanging plants, too. Now, we're down kind of at the end right now. This is like... There are two covered areas like this that you can go to. That have been that, you know, each booth will have different stuff. Down here we have a lot of plants. These are, what are these? Magellan zinnias. Oh, that's these things, I guess. Aren't they pretty? Oh, they're nice. And you can get hanging baskets. Oh, aren't they lovely? What is that? What, $16? Well, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Looks like something my grandmother would have had. You can get a dil Diplodenia bush. It makes those flowers. <laughs> All these pink ones are pretty, too. That's a hanging plant for $35. Wow. What are they? I don't know. But it's pretty, though. Oh, and here you can get one that's in a... I got a little in a pot oh wow now this one's very full that's pretty this is boot boogain boogain villa i've never heard of that but it's pretty i like it it's very nice here's some more gosh those flowers it's like a flower inside of a flower i think we saw some of these at lowe's Aren't they something? Wow. Let's see. Now, over way over there, that's the other. There's another shed, not a, like a covered area over there. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get over there in a minute. Now over here, you can get pretty onions. Look, red onions or just white onions, squash, zucchini. Oh, they're pretty. Kenback. I don't know what that is. White potatoes. Red potatoes. Yukon gold potatoes. And that stuff. It says cauliflower, but that's some weird looking cauliflower. That's greens of some sort. Oh, wow. They got plants all back there. You can get loaves of bread. Oh, neat. Our breads are made using no preservatives. Huh. What kind of breads we got? Multigrain white bread. This is from Lakeview Farms. Where are they located? It must be local. It's got a 336 area code. But corn. Oh, look at all the corn. Pretty white corn there. And squash and zucchini. Pick, oh, sorry. Pickling cucumbers. These are gold prints, peaches. Oh, I need some of these. I have a couple of hanging baskets that have died and I wanted to reuse the planters and I could put something like that in there. 
These are so pretty. And back here we have peppers. These are peppers, pepper plants. Huh. Oh yeah, you can see them on there. See a little pepper? Vegetable plants. Dragon's Breath, Carolina Reaper. Dang. I'm getting rained on a little bit. It's dripping out here. Oh, this is like the stuff I planted around my mailbox. And they're doing great. They look so good right now. They've all spread out and kind of blended together. I bought them in all different colors. I got some purple and pink. And I just mixed a bunch of colors together. I think I have some yellow. Look at that bumblebee. <laughs> Ew. Where are you going, fella? Oh, bumblebee. <laughs> Yeah, my, the stuff I planted around my mailbox is looking great. Look at that. It looks like purple velvet. Beautiful. Yeah, so you can get just a variety. Look at these pretty red ones, too. Herbs. You can get herbs. It's basil. Thai basil. Sweet basil. Huh. Neat. And then basil again. Fresh herbs. <laughs> Shishito. Shishito. I've oh, never heard of that one. Oh, these are pretty with a like a plum color and yellow. I like those. Yeah. Oh. Down here we have some little blue. Are these periwinkles? They look like it. Ooh, look at what is that? I don't know, it's cool though. And this, nice. So many things. House plants. Boy, they're so green. Tomatoes. We have red brandy wine tomato plants, beef steak, German pink, brandy wine, Roma tomatoes. I love Roma tomatoes. German Johnsons. Aloe plants, all kinds of stuff. And we have soap, we have goat soap. It's a beach scent. I would, if I had two hands, I'd sniff that. I'd like to try that. Hey, look, they have a, they have a goat soap that's Fruit Loops. <laughs> this is from the Romsburg Family Farm. Nice, ooh, pumpkin spice and root beer. Yes, hand and foot salve. Oh my gosh. They've got vanilla sugar, pumpkin spice. That's a lotion. Ooh. And then we come over here, we look at tomatoes. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Look at the beautiful color. It's like a painting. I love it. And you can get peaches. Look at all, Lord, look at all the peaches. White peaches snow kissed less acid sweet and very juicy the weather every year affects the peaches oh god i wish i wish you could smell this they smell so good and blackberries look at those pretty blackberries oh my gosh mm -mm -mm. firm sweet and tart century yellow inside and squash here we got some more tomatoes. Beautiful tomatoes. You can even buy wine here. Look it. You can get blackberry, blueberry, and strawberry wine. Three for 36. Dixie Red, Carolina Jubilee, apple and apple spice. Ooh, I don't believe I need any wine today. Let's see. Although, I had to get up early this morning and work, and Lord, after my morning at work, I kind of feel like I could take a drink. Now, these, these tomatoes, these are from Long's Farm in Tyro, North Carolina. Look. Woo. Aren't they pretty inside? My word. That's the main thing I came here for today was a good tomato. I want to go home and make me a tomato sandwich with a good tomato. Not one of those cardboard ones from the grocery store. <laughs> I've hit a traffic jam. Let's see. What's this in here? You can get frozen lima bees and 
black-eyed peas and English peas, squash and cucumbers. Oh, look at that zucchini. Oh my word, it looks good. String beans. These are red sweet potatoes. Look at that. Patty pan squash. Daggum, these things are massive. Look at gall. Wow. Look at these squashes. These are homegrown tomatoes. Now, a homegrown tomato is going to taste so much better than anything you get in the grocery store. So much better than the grocery store. You can get green tomatoes. If you've never had fried green tomatoes, they're very good. As long as the person who makes it knows what they're doing, they're really good. You can get sweet onions, a dollar each. Oh, and over here, you can get the prettiest bouquets. Look at these beautiful flowers. These are $20, and they're beautiful. I may have to take home a bouquet today. Oh, now here we go. Here are the tomatoes for me. Look at you can get, these are Cherokee and German paint grown in the ground in Cherryville, North Carolina. These are the tomatoes. I'm going to take home one of these today. They look like a brain, but they taste really good. Yes, wow. And you notice the different colors. Some of them are kind of a greenish and some are almost purple. Oh, they're all good. They are all so good. They're kind of ugly, but they taste fantastic. You ever seen a tomato like that in your life? <laughs> it's as big as my hand. Oh yeah, I need some of these to take home for my tomato sandwich. Now these are these are heirloom, heirloom and Cherokee tomatoes, German pink, grown in the ground in Cherryville, North Carolina. Man, alive, they're massive. See, I want to take a few of these home, cut them up, make a sandwich, and that would be so good. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I wish y'all could come taste these. These are sunbeam tomatoes. I've never heard of sunbeam tomatoes. These are, all of these are sunbeams. I don't know any, I may have to get a couple of those. I don't know what a sunbeam tomato tastes like. Well, they look beautiful. They do, they look just beautiful. Look, boy, there's so many, they just go forever. I love it, I love, oh, it, it's just tomatoes everywhere. That makes me very happy. <laughs> and we have plants and you can tell what's in season right now. You're gonna see a lot of the same stuff over and over. More tomatoes. I was hoping to find tomatoes today. You could get fried pies. These are four dollars each. Blackberry, blueberry, apple, strawberry. And they have little the little no bake cookies, the oatmeal chocolate, brownies. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, we, we've got jo uh, jelly. Oh shoot, honey. This is local blackberry honey from Greensboro. Oh, give me some of that. Um, that's local raw. This is $8. That's $20. 15 This is, okay, Heart House Farms SW. I don't know what that means. And molasses. You can get a little thing of it for $2. Yeah, that's one great thing about it. You can come here and get local honey. It's good for allergies. They say if you eat, what is it, a teaspoon or a tablespoon of local honey every day, it helps helps you deal with your allergies. Look at the little bee back there. <laughs> little bee. You can get a little tube of honey. Little honey candies. Yeah. I might I might take home and get me one of those. And we have not many blueberries left. They're about gone. Got some strawberries. Ooh, that's a big one right there. <laughs> peaches. Oh, look at the pretty peaches. These are $5 a quart. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, they just look so good. I'm here right home. Oh my gosh. Oh, that better. You see over here, we got flowers everywhere. Flowers, so you can get bouquets. 
and they're so pretty. Look, that's only $20 for that big bouquet. Isn't it beautiful? And you can get smaller ones for $15. They're, they're as beautiful as anything you'd get from a flower shop for five times as much. Little, little baby small tomatoes, $4. What in the heck? Are these, oh, these are plums, aren't they? Yeah, plums. Pickled beets, no, I'm not interested in that. Here's some more honey from Burton Farms. Oh, and they have apple butter. Nice. More tomatoes, homegrown tomatoes. What are the yellow ones? These are German Johnson tomatoes right here. These are yellow tomatoes. Yes. What are these purple looking ones? Are these Cherokee? Well, they might be Cherokee, let me see. Yep, they're Cherokee purple tomatoes. And then they look like oranges if you just glance at them, but they're tomatoes. Dang. It's gonna be hard to choose. I, I'm probably gonna go back to the one that had all the big misshapen ones like that because from my experience, the misshapen ones are the best. They taste so good. Yeah, okay. We've kind of reached, we've kind of reached the end of this little covered area. Oh, look at the little plants. Oh, these are adorable, look. Those are, those are cute. I love them. They're, oh, look at this one, it's so cute. <laughs> I want one of these. I like how it looks kind of spotted. It's like that little white spots. That's cool. Neat. Okay. And another cool thing when you come here, usually we've got food set up down here. Like you can get kettle corn, lemonade, and orangeade, stuff like that. You can buy fresh seafood here. Way over there, we have funnel cakes. Now, it's, it's a Friday, so they don't have as much set up here. Uh, on, the, on Saturday and Sunday, they have a lot. They have food just everywhere. They'll have all kinds of food out there. So now, let's head on way over yonder. We're gonna go check out the other covered area. Now we come up here, and this is actually farmer's area number one. I always start with the other one first. I don't know why, this one has a lot of plants. Now we're kind of in the parking lot right now, but you can come out here and find trees, a little forest of, I don't know what all. <laughs> wow. Oh, roses. Oh, these are like the ones I bought. The yellow uh, knockout roses. Yeah, I bought, I have four of those now in my backyard that I planted. These are bigger than mine though. They're taller. Mine were shorter. Oh, look at the hanging baskets with all the pretty flowers in it. Oh, it's just too much. They have some pretty roses. Oh, they hold. Look at that one. That's a pretty one. Wow. Pretty yellow roses. I, you know, I should have come here to get my flowers, but I didn't think about it. Oh, these are interesting looking little doodahs. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. So, ooh, those are pretty. Some of them are labeled, some aren't. These are Dazzler Coral Impatiens. Probably saying that wrong. I don't care. All the pretty flowers. I just cannot get over how pretty that is with the, the orange. It's so pretty. Ooh, is that lavender? Oh, wow. There's so much pretty stuff out here. Now let's see. Ooh, look at that. I'm, I'm sort of trying to kill one of the, the bushes in front of my house because I hate it. It looks like a big Muppet, but I, I wouldn't replace it with something like that because they get really tall. Look, it's a Japanese maple. I do recognize these. Glenda the Good Witch has a big Japanese maple at his house. It's so pretty. In the, in the winter time or in the fall, these turn like a bright red, and it just looks like fire. It looks like the, the bush is just on fire. It's so pretty. Okay. Now, come up here. 
There's a bird up there. <laughs> so you come in here. We have more. Oh, look at that one. <gasps> that is so pretty. The variegated leaves on it. Pretty hanging baskets. Oh my gosh. So much good stuff. This one's really pretty. I like the pinkish color on it. That looks great. I don't know what the heck these are. Oh, look at this one. Like little pink snowballs. That's a pretty hanging basket. Yeah, these are, I know these are tomato plants. One of them took a tumble. There you go, little fella. Yeah, these are tomato plants. Huh. Oh gosh, they got more out here. These are also tomato plants. That one, <laughs> that one's already made a little tomato. That's a fire truck. <laughs> He's headed to the seed place over there. There's a sunflower. Look, a sunflower. I'm in the back side back here. Ooh, isn't this hanging basket pretty? It has these white flowers and then it has these little peachy pink looking ones in there too. I like that. Let's see. These are tomato plants. Mr. Stripey. <laughs> Mr. Stripey, I've never heard of those. Mountain Pride tomatoes. Pink brandy wine. These are heir heirloom tomatoes. Oh, Tabasco uh, peppers, jalapenos, Thai dragon, hot banana peppers, wow, serrano peppers, habanero, wow, Carolina Reaper. I'm so impressed with their variety of hanging baskets. They're so pretty. Look at that one. Ooh, that one's beautiful. These are strawberries. Strawberries. These are strawberries too. I recognize those. We used to have strawberry plants uh, in my house when I was growing up. Now what have we got in all these baskets over here? What is this? I like their display with the little baskets, like everything's spilling out. I like that. This is this is a nice display. I like this a lot. <laughs> you can get two different kinds of cucumbers. He's shy. Look at him. You can get slicing cucumbers, pickling cucumbers, patty pan squash. Looks like something out of a video game. Safari zucchini. I've never heard of that. Safari zucchini. Mediterranean zucchini. Wow. Gold zucchini. Isn't it pretty? Whoa. They look like mutant bananas. Regular zucchini. Yellow squash. Now this is a zephyr squash. It says it has a mild nutty flavor. I've never seen any squash like that. Huh. That's cool. And we have peppers, green bell peppers. I like their baskets, aren't they nice? Red bell. They're out of ivory and purple sweet peppers. Sweet banana peppers. They have one cubanelle. Never heard of that. This is a mild hot. Marconi pepper sweet. This is painted Peel cabbage? Never heard of that. And we have red cabbage and regular cabbage. Nice. And funky little onions. And we have all kinds of jars of preserves. We have pig preserves, chow chow, blackberry preserves, ooh, blueberry jelly, apple butter. They even have pepper jelly peach preserves, and strawberry preserves. Oh my God. Hey, I know where that is. That's Johnson's Peaches in, from Cander, North Carolina. I know where that is. 
I have actually been there. How cool, it's a small world. Look at the little Brussels sprouts. They look like tiny cabbages. Spinach. Kale. Spring onions. Radish. Got your romaine and green leaf lettuce. Green beans. Wow, this is so much. Oh, they have their tomatoes too. We've, okay, German Johnson. Cherokee purple. These are just green. These are red tomatoes. You've got your little cherry tomatoes. These are red cherry tomatoes, or you can get yellow cherry tomatoes. Mix and match. We're just going to walk down and then come back up the other side. I'm trying not to miss things. Oh, that is such a pretty hanging basket. You know, if I came here to pick out a hanging basket, I'd have a hard time choosing. I mean, there are so many pretty ones here. I would have a hard time making up my mind which one I wanted to get. Big old tomato plants. Boy, they need to go in the ground. Um, oh, I see some lilies. I see some pretty lilies over here. And all kinds of things. Wow, aren't they pretty? Look. Oh, they're beautiful. They are just gorgeous. It's so pretty. Oh, look at that. What is this? What kind of flower is that? I don't know, but it sure is pretty. Oh, there's a purple one. Oh, I need my grandmother here. She, is, she knew all about plants. Oh, she'd, want to, she'd stay here all day looking at all this stuff. She could grow anything. That my grandmother, she had a green thumb. I mean, she could get anything to grow. Not me so much. There's a snake plant. I do recognize those. This is this looks like a, something from outer space. What kind of weird? That's a succulent. It's got to be, but I don't know what the heck it is. These are jade, jade plants. I did keep a jade plant alive at work for several years. And then one day it just died. I think something happened to it, honestly. It just, it died very suddenly. And I think somebody sabotaged my plant. <laughs> These are all hanging baskets of all different types. Oh, that one's pretty. That's beautiful. Nice. This is where Glenda the Good Witch came to get my Mother's Day present. He got me a pot, but it was bigger than this. It's a big tall pot with a mix kind of like this in it and it has some blue flowers in it and these red ones that was the sweetest little thing that he did for me he gave me that for Mother's Day oh, we got over. oh this is roped off I can't go in there well we'll look at it out here they do have some pretty stuff look at this pretty flower well they are something I don't know why he's roping it off. Maybe he's going to get something for lunch. It's getting close to lunch time now. They are so pretty though. Oh, elephant ears. <laughs> My old house, I had some elephant ears growing in the backyard and they were actually getting kind of big, but then I sold my house, so I didn't care. <laughs> Look at these. Maybe this is where he got mine. I don't know. I know he said he got it at the farmer's market, but I don't know who he brought, bought it from. Now, Yeah, this one's, this part seems to have a lot more plants and not as much produce. All kinds of lovely stuff. All four inch pots are $3 each. So just whatever you want, I guess it's $3. Look at these little Oh, we saw some of these at Lowe's, but I can't remember what they were called. Pretty yellow flowers down there. It's not chrysanthemums, is it? Is it marigolds? What is that called? Yep, marigold. It's pretty. The flowers kind of look like chrysanthemums to me, but I don't know what the difference is. Oops. Yeah, these are just the same thing. They're just orange. 
looks pretty. These are pretty flowers here. Look, wow. Look at those. It's just, oh, so much pretty stuff. Let me come around. I gotta get out of the way. More hanging baskets. Oh, these, these hanging baskets are $15 each. Or two for 25. Wow. That's a great deal. Such a good deal. But I, I already have so many hanging baskets. I don't I don't have anywhere to put any more. But like I said, I do have two little hanging baskets that for some reason are just determined to die. Like they just don't want to live anymore. Ooh, that one's pretty. That's a pretty flower. So I thought maybe I would come here today to try to find something else to put in the baskets. I don't think I'll have any trouble. These are just like big potted plants. These are hostas. Yeah, hostas. I have, I already have a big hosta doodah at my house. I don't want any more. They get, it gets really big every year. Look at that. Oh my. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that, look at that iris. That's, that's gorgeous. That's really pretty. It's my mother's favorite flowers, irises. She has a big uh, little gar big garden area with all different kinds of irises planted in it. Oh, look at the little planters. Oh, they're cute. It's a little kitty. Sheep. <laughs> look at the little fish. That's adorable. And a frog. <laughs> I like the frog. Little pig. Oh, the bunny rabbit is nice. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, a snail. <laughs> He's cute. A chicken. Ooh, the fish is nice. That's cool. That's only $48. I like that. Take four dollars off the fifty-two dollar items. Nice. Well, see, I gotta figure out what to get Glenda the Good Witch for Father's Day. I already got my dad's present. Ooh, I like this. The butter, it's like a churn thingy. That's nice. Oh, there's a wow. These are huge. Golly, Pete, that's big. <laughs> that's massive. Oh, they have more over here. Look at these things. Gosh, that's beautiful. I bet it weighs a ton. Is that? Oh, dude, yeah, that's heavy. That's, that's like pottery or something. I thought it was, sometimes they look like that, but they're plastic. So they're not as heavy as they look. No, those are heavy. Here we have Jasmine. Ooh, Jasmine. That's only $18 for that? Wow. Oh, look at these. Ooh. Oh, I love these hangers. Look at that. Nice. I've never seen a hanger quite like this one. That's like galvanized metal. Interesting. This one has a like a rope. These have just a like a chain you'd see on a swing set, kind of. They're beautiful. Oh. oh, look at the pretty. This is like what's in the plant that I got for Mother's Day, this blue stuff right here. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of like that. These are, these are $48. That's nice. And there's a hole in the bottom to let water drain out, so that is good. Whoop. Look at the little pig planter. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh, look how pretty that is. Look at just, oh, I love the blue with the green and everything. Oh, that's beautiful. And this one, oh. Look at this one, it has a spiky thing in the middle and these little white flowers. Nice. Here's one with the cocoa liner. Pretty plants. This is so neat, I tell you. Look at the little puppy. <laughs> I could spend a hundred thousand dollars in here. Hey, puppy. Hey. <laughs> hey, puppy. <laughs> oh no. 
Now this is Carmen's greenhouse. Oh wow, that's pretty. Look at these pretty things. Wow. You can buy a little bouquet. Aren't they lovely? I don't even know what they are, but I love the colors. Wow. I see this is what I need right here to go in my hanging planner. Some of that stuff. Because it's kind of similar to what I have in there now, but unfortunately what I have in there now is trying to die and I don't know why. I kept it watered. It requires lots of sun. I give it lots of sun and it just doesn't want to live anymore. Oh, look at these. Is that an amaryllis? Or no, that's not an amaryllis. That's um you know what that is. There's a magnolia. Magnolia. Here's another Japanese maple. They grow, I think, fairly slowly. It takes them a while to get any size. There are all kinds of birds in here. <laughs> These are gardenias. All gardenia blossoms smell so good. Oh my. That is variegated liriope. I know because I had a house once that had tons of that stuff and it grows everywhere. I was constantly having to pull it up <laughs> and I hated it. These are little bitty roses. Look at the baby roses. Sea foam blooms spring to frost, virtually maintenance free. Pretty. Bethany plants and produce. That is, oh, these are butterfly bushes. Yeah. But I have a lantana that blooms in my backyard every year, and I'm telling you, the butterflies and honeybees like it better than my butterfly bush. They do. Pasta. This is Greensboro Shrub Nursery Wholesale, Greensboro, North Carolina. These are, oh, okay, these are perennials. Wow, they have a lot. That's a nice little arrangement. I can just plant it like that. <laughs> I like that. Creeping Jenny. Creeping Jenny. It looks cute. So I guess that's like ground cover. Everybody's got hostas. Miss Molly Buddleia? Butterfly bush. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and see, so you find benches all over the place here. And they're all from the Farm Bureau. They're all over the place. Everybody's got their fans going because it's kind of hot in here. Golly, have you ever. I should I really should have come here to get my stuff. There's another snake plant there. We have a gap here. Look at all that over there. <laughs> Now let's see. We have all kinds of stuff. Oh, wait, where is this from? Whitaker Farm and Garden Center. I, I'm not sure where they are. Whitaker Farms, Climax, North Carolina. We have grape jelly, lemon, pepper lemon jelly. Ooh, pumpkin butter. Interesting. Peach butter. Ooh, strawberry butter. Chocolate pecan pie in a jar. Pickled beet balls. Ooh, vanilla peaches. They even have salad dressings. Cheesy Caesar. Burgundy poppy. Blackberry splash. Southern peach vinaigrette and raspberry vinaigrette. Molasses. Three pepper medley. Black bean and corn salsa. Ooh, chow chow. Sweet and hot. Marinara sauce. They even have a spaghetti sauce. Wow. So this is all from Whitaker Farms and Climax. Ooh, isn't that a pretty waxy leaf right there? Nice. What a kind of, I don't know what kind of plant that is. But they have, oh, they have tomatoes too. 
These are Climax tomatoes. Uh-huh. Potted plants. Oh, that was in a car. Oh, like a little race car. I like it. Now here we get back into peaches. Johnson's peaches from Candor. You know, Candor is the peach, it's a, like the peach capital of this whole area, Candor, North Carolina, because they grow so many peaches down there. Candor has the perfect sandy soil for peach trees. And it's hotter than the hinges of hell down there all the time in the summer, so Candor is where you find a lot of peaches. They even have a peach festival every year in Candor. And my mother, good, how are you? My mother's first job at 14 years of age was picking, was working in a peach packing plant in Candor. She said, you never got so hot and sweaty in your life. They were in a place kind of like this, packing peaches all day long. No air conditioning, no nothing. So we have yellow peaches. Looks like most of the peaches are the same kind. Oh, it smells so good because the fan blows and you can smell the peaches. Cute little baby squash little potatoes oh my goodness and then finally we have a few more plants yeah so i feel like i'm lost in a little forest over here these bushes and whatnot wow and that is the end of our tour of the farmer's market for today Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed coming here and seeing all the cool local stuff, the plants and the fruits and vegetables and the flowers and everything. I really hope you enjoyed it. I found some good stuff today and I hope you have a great day and I will see you again soon.